Yeah, yeah. All right, you want to take us to Steve, John? Yes. Uh, okay. Steve has a question for us regarding the need for solutions such as Time Machine or Carbon Copy Cloner and similar backup solutions. I store all of my files, photos, documents, work stuff on my Synology, which is backed up via CloudSync to Backblaze. And in iCloud, I have the two terabyte plan, which is more than adequate for my needs. If my MacBook was to get stolen or my Mac Mini at home was to die or any other tragedy afflicted any of my machines, I'd lose nothing. I would just have to reinstall my applications and I'd be up and running. So that being said, is there still any value in using Time Machine or Carbon Copy Cloner? If I store nothing locally on any of my Macs, what am I really... Uh, what am I really backing up? My applications? I'm interested in your thoughts and your advice. You guys speak so highly of products such as Carbon Copy Cloner. It makes me often wonder if I'm missing out on something I should be doing just to be safe. Are there benefits to Carbon Copy Cloner or Time Machine beyond just backing up my files? Um, I think he's pretty much following the, uh, there's this thing called the 321 backup rule. Uh, three copies of the data, two different types of media, one site. Uh, one copy off-site, and it sounds like he's doing that. Um, the only thing you're missing is having a bootable clone. Um, Time Machine won't really do that for you, but that's exactly what Carbon Copy Cloner is for. Um, the benefit I would see is, is that it helps reduce the amount of time you have to... Uh, I mean, he said, yeah, uh, all I have to do is reinstall my applications, but if you have a clone, then you don't have to reinstall your applications. So that's that's my take. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I use Time Machine. I don't prioritize it. Um, it has proven, and I've been using Time Machine since it started, right? So I, I am bringing baggage with me into this conversation and into my current decisions. Uh, Time Machine has not always been the most reliable. It gets flaky. The backups mm -hmm. get corrupted. You have to restart them. It it it's not very good at telling you when it is not working, which I think is terrible. Uh, you, you know, so like I have it on my calendar once a month to check my backups and I go and I look and make sure everything's backing up. My, I am never surprised by anything that is not working other than time machine because my other backup apps will eat like carbon copy cloner will email me when it's failing. That I like that. That's good feedback to get, you know, whereas time yeah. machine, you have to like, you have to go and seek out the, whether or not it's succeeding and that I don't like that about it. So I don't, it's weird, right? Because I, I let time machine run. I, I absolutely do. Um, and if I, there are times when it is the first place I go to restore from, because it's so easy and right there at my fingertips, but I don't expect it to work. And I, I think that may be the, the most telling piece of information I've shared is it is not the thing. Like when I, if I were to go into time machine and find out, Oh yeah, you know, it hasn't been backing up for two weeks. And so it doesn't have the copy of that file that I wanted yesterday. I'd be like, all right, well, I'll just go to the next place. You know, I'll go to my my cloud, my Synology drive, which I, syncs all my files and does versioning, or I'll go to my carbon copy cloner backups because I know that, you know, those worked because I got the email about it, you know, those kinds of things. So I wouldn't, I would be disappointed, but I would not be in trouble when I found that Time Machine had been failing me for a, an unspecified period of time. Um, so, yeah, like, do I recommend not using it? I mean... I don't recommend only using it. Let's put it that way. Right. Um, yeah. And the nice thing about carbon copy cloner is that it does what they call a backup health check. And you could find this in um, advanced settings, performance and analysis. And that basically compares the, the files between the source and the destination. And if there's a difference, it'll, it'll take care of it and probably warn you too. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be a sign that some drive is somewhere is failing. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's the theme of this episode is silent failures are bad.